Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photo P tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a tessellated image in the style of Rio Owada on your phone using Photo P. It will look like the image in front of you here. Okay, in order to do this, I'll talk you through the whole stages. So the first thing we're going to need to do is type in Photo P into our web browser. It will load up like this. We go File, Open, we look for the photo we're going to use, which is stored in my PhotoP tutorial folder. So I find the picture and I add it to PhotoP. Now I want to turn it around, so I want this as a portrait image. So I'm going to go Image, Transformations, and Rotate 90 degrees. Once I've done that, I need to scale my picture down so it's a quarter of the size it is at the moment. So I click in the corner. And I drag it over till it is approximately a quarter of the size of the area about there I think okay then we scroll along the top to our layer menu and we click on duplicate layer we then go to the layers menu on the right we click on it you'll see I've got a background and a background copy I make sure I'm on background copy I then use my finger and I move the copied part to the bottom I then scroll on the top again look for edit transform and I'm looking for flip vertical I do that and I've created the first part of my tessellated image to continue with this I need to click on my layer menu at the top so if I drag it over a little bit duplicate layer go to my layer menu make sure I've got the right one so it's the bottom one here I drag it across I drop it, I then go across here to my edit menu, I go transform, and this time flipping horizontally. I've then got three quarters of my image. I then go to my layers menu again. I scroll over a little bit to make it easier, duplicate that layer, move it to the top of the image, and then guess what? It's edit, transform, flip vertically and there you have it there is my beautiful tessellated image of some trees that i took in the beautiful sunrise we had the other morning and you can see if i zoom in all the intricate details that this creates which is an amazing picture almost looks like veins doesn't it so have fun exploring what you can do with photographs you've taken trees work really well for this flowers work well other images as well um, once you've done your image, obviously the next stage is to go File, Export As, go for a JPEG, click Save, click Download, and there will be your image. Okay, fantastic. Hope you've enjoyed watching this quick, straightforward tutorial today. Um, if you are interested in learning any more about using PhotoP on your phones or Photoshop on a computer, check out Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers the youtube channel and um subscribe tick that notification bell to be notified anytime i post a video and punch that thumbs up button okay thank you for watching and enjoy bye